Hello, I'm Captain Bert Diener, and I'd like to share with you some tips today about how to fish a traditional lure on the Okefenokee, the Okefenokee Swamp Sally. It's a little fly, and the way that I like to fish it is either with a float or without a float on a brim buster. And I, I prefer the, the nine foot brim buster, but just because it's a little more manageable with trees, you can flip it up under trees a little better. So the way I rig it, I've got a, a line about the same length as the pole, and then I either either sight fish it without the float or use a little balsa float and then about 12 to 18 inches and then I put a little clip so I can quickly change between sizes and colors of the sally and then I clip the lure on which is a little fly and then another key is that you need a little trailer on it which some folks traditionally call a maggot so all it is is a little tiny piece of uh, plastic about a one millimeter cube of plastic and then you put that on the lure and that's your trailer it kind of gives the fish something to aim for it gives a little extra attraction so that's how you rig an Okefenokee Swamp Sally Sally's come in a lot of different sizes and colors this is the box that I carry with me I've got all kinds of different options I generally start with the number 10 the smallest version because I'm just trying to get bites, as many bites as I can, and that, that small one will usually do that. The number eight is the standard. Um, that's the most popular size, and then the number six is the larger size. If you're targeting pickerel or, or just bigger fish, you don't care how many bites, that's a good size to use. So there's lots of different colors, lots of different sizes of the fly. 